Oh yes, there we go, defeated Bane. How's it going guys, it's me Simon and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your PS4 controller to your Mac. There's two methods to doing this, you can do it wirelessly via Bluetooth or wired with a micro USB to USB cable. I found that the wireless method is sometimes unreliable and the cable method is the best way to go. But I'm going to show you both methods. So let's begin. So let's start with the wireless method. To do this we want to go to our desktop and up to the Bluetooth icon at the top here. Press that. Go down to open Bluetooth preferences and it will bring up this Bluetooth screen. What we want to do is turn on Bluetooth over here with this button. And now it's on, we want to take our PS4 controller. Ta da! Next, we want to press the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time, and we want to hold it down for a bit until it starts flashing the light up here. Okay, one, two, three, let's do it. There it is, start flashing. And it's already been recognized by the Bluetooth of the Mac. Wireless controller, that's what the PS4 controller is known as on here. If we press the pair button, it should stop the controller from flashing once it's connected. Yep, it's now a solid light and it's been connected here on the Bluetooth screen. So, one thing left to do, we want to test it out. To do this, we're going to use an emulator, open emu, let's try Crash Bandicoot. No. You may want to, if I just pause this for a second, you may want to go to preferences and bind the controls. So, D-pad up, left analog stick up, left analog stick left, right analog stick up, left, home button, this one. Triangle, circle, X, square, L1, L2, R1, R2, L3, oops, I already did that one, R3, options, to start, yep, and select is share. So, you can see that it's connected and we've bind the controls for the controller and now we can continue. Let's test it out with some Crash Bandicoot. I have to say that the wireless method does not work on all games and it's sometimes unreliable. The cable method I'm going to show you next after this, but let's just see this in action. Let's turn down the sound a bit. Alright, All right, let's start. Insanity Beach loading. Alright, here we are. There's Crash. And we're ready to go. Yep. You can see that the square button does the spin. X does the jump, and we paused it with the options button up here. Alright, we'll go left. Let's get all these apples. And there's the end of the level. Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you the best and easiest method, which is the wired method. All you need is a micro USB to USB cable. You might have one with your PlayStation controller, but if you don't, it's commonly found with our new smartphone chargers. So, 
what we want to do is take the micro USB end of the cable, our PS4 controller, at the back just underneath the light there's the micro USB port, we want to plug that in and then take the other end and plug it into the USB port of our MacBook and that's it, the light has come on and it's gone off again but it is connected I thought for this demonstration we should try not an emulator but with Steam so let's open Steam and it's lit up again the first thing you're going to want to do the first time you connected the controller you want to go up here to the controller icon up here which you highlight over and it says big picture mode so press that and it will open up big picture mode wait let's zoom in a bit okay big picture mode so now we want to go to the cog icon which is settings to controller settings over here oops that's one else there is controller settings here press that and over here on the left hand side you want to enable the PS4 configuration support and then once you've enabled that so you want that ticked and then you go down here for PlayStation 4 controller the, for underneath detected controllers press that and you can identify it if you press I, to identify it your PS4 controller will vibrate Let's see if it picks it up. I don't know if you can hear the sound if I press it again. And then you can also change it with the preferences up here. So there's a controller name, you can keep the rumble preference if you like. And this is for the color of the light. So we can control that with this. Oh, look, that's a nice greeny blue color let's keep that submit that so that's ready we can go back and it down here it notifies you that it's using the new configuration so it's time to play some games exit big picture mode for about an hour. yes we can get him Come on. Got low health, so got to do it. Oh, yes, there we go, defeated Bane. So there you go guys, that is how you connect your PS4 controller to your Mac wirelessly and wired. I recommend the wired method because it's the easiest and you won't run into any problems. Well you shouldn't. So if you enjoyed this video leave me a like, consider becoming a subscriber for more content like this, thank you for watching and peace out. Oh, what I Through all I see is you.